Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today is a very exciting day. So a while ago I bought a pre-loved Chanel handbag. Um, wasn't planned. Um, just saw it on a Facebook group and I said to my friend, it's pretty and it's pink and it's by Chanel. So it's the Chanel Cambon bag and it was pretty loved and I knew that um, but it had a, and I paid a good price for it but it did have some marks on it which I knew and when it came I was like no you know what I can't live with that so it's going to have to go off to a spa um, I love a spa so I hope you're my Chanel handbag will too so today it's come it's it's arrived back home um, so I've been without her for about six weeks I sent her off on what well, she was received on the 27th of June and okay she's come back today which is the 11th of August so it's been a little while um, she was having a deep clean because there wasn't much in terms of way of leather damage but there was like some fading of the leather and I think in terms of how she'd been stored the because she's pink and black and where the black handles were against the leather there'd been some dye transfer and I tried to get it out myself and couldn't so I thought let's give it to the professionals so I sent this off to the handbag restoration company after I've unboxed this I'll let you know if I recommend them or not but so far they were really good um, Claire on just Facebook Messenger was really informative came back to me really quickly with any questions that I had you know we agreed a price um, and then I also paid extra to get the courier service um, to and from my house which is £30 in total um, but it would have cost me that in you know postage anyway with the right insurance that so was protected so so that was fine um, and it was actually cheaper than another quote that I got from a different company um, but I, the main reason for me going with the handbag restoration company was that I'd heard some really good reviews about them so anyway I'm a bit nervous I'm not gonna lie Let's try and open this. It's been really well packaged. It's fragile, as you can see, like fragile written on the box. And what I will do is I will also insert some before and after photos because I did take lots of before photos when I was trying to work out, you know, the, the price for the restoration and, you know, agreeing what was required and what wasn't. Um, like I said, the bag was immaculate inside. Um, hadn't been stored that anymore. So I, what I don't want to do is damage the bag and open the box. Nearly there. Right, that's that. This is a big reveal. Lots of bubble wrap. Well, that's good, I was running out of bubble wrap. So that's been really well packaged. More bubble wrap. Little freebie colonel water stop spray, if you can see that. There we go. I wasn't expecting that, so brilliant. Nice little extra. Oh, this is so sweet. Um, I'm trying to show you, they've done it up in tissue with little ribbon, and then there, that's their logo. I don't know if you can focus on that. That's their logo for the Hammer Restoration Company. Um, I do have a dust bag which I kept at home. I sent it off in like a little cheap dust bag that I had just in case it got lost. Not saying it would have done, but just in case. So I have got that. Right. Remove the ribbon. Open tissue paper. Well, she's definitely still pink. And let's have a look. Oh wow. Oh, I think they've done a really good job. Um, yeah, so all of the dye transfer has come off. Um, so you see that because it was like you could see it was like handle shaped <laughs> down with particularly bad bits there. Um, there also was like a really bad bit there, which again from, if I get the handles out, you can see. There we go. But how the handles are, they've got these little knots here and it actually had indentations 
from where the knots are, because I think it's just been stored with its handles like that and it's been pushed. Um, like I said, the inside was, was perfect um, and all the black on the handbag was also perfect. It was just his colour transfer and there was like um, a really minor scratch around here. Um, I don't know how well you're able to see on hand, but I'll take some photos. That's completely gone as well. And just the colour's been completely restored. Again, I don't know if it's been stored outside of a handbag, a, a dust bag or not, but the, and I've seen this in quite a few of these bags um, that I've looked at online, is that the leather colour had almost faded. Um, where she's now, she's probably pink. She is probably pink. Um, if you want to do full on, see a full on review of this bag, I can do that as well. Um, like I say, very rare for me to do an impulse buy. Very, very rare. Um, but I did. And, but Chanel and it's pink. I mean, what more is there to say? Um, I'll see if you can see it on. You can wear this bag in a number of ways. I know this isn't a review, but I'm so happy to have her back and she's so pretty. Whoopsies. Yeah, so that's her on me. Um, she was quite big there. She's not that big a bag. I suppose I'm not that big a person. Um, yeah, and then the crook of the arm. Yeah, I just love this two tone of the pink and the black and um, yeah she's come up like new now and I'm really glad that I sent her off. Right so the service that I had was basically a, a deep clean um, to get rid of all that dye transfer and then um, a re, I forget the name, but basically a recolour so they just put some more of the original colour over the top um, and then did a protection over the top of that as well. So, and I also asked them to do a little bit extra because the inside doesn't need a clean, so I don't, there's no point paying for that because the inside was perfect. I've got some antibacterial cleaner anyway, and I just gave it a bit spruced up when I got her. Again, okay, not that she was dirty, but effectively my dirt and anyone else's. Um, and then, as you can see, the pink here goes just a little way into the bag, and that was pretty good, but had again a little bit of colour fade. So, I wanted her to be, I thought if I'm doing this, Let's do it properly. So I paid for that as well. So the total cost of the restoration was £139 um, plus this £30 courier delivery which was, was completely optional but the cost to get the bag back from the restoration company was going to be £15 anyway so I thought you know what I may as well just pay the whole amount and it's both journeys done. Um, so there she is. There's her. I'm actually in the front because the front's the prettiest. I also like the back because what I do love and one of the key things I love about Chanel bags those little external slip pockets there um, and it's just got a little black bottom with four feet and I know a little indentation there but I'm not bothered about that I, I do keep her stuffed really well now when I store her and I store her with the handles inside in a dust bag so there should not be any more colour fade or dye transfer so in a nutshell absolutely recommend the handbag restoration company the little extra, the way it came back it all packaged as well is really nice and the little colonel water, sp water spray um, that was a really nice added touch that I wasn't expecting um, and most importantly they've done what they've said you know the, the, they've restored my Chanel bag so um, thanks for watching I hope you found this informative again if anyone's got any questions um, I did narrow my search down to three different companies before I chose this one so if anyone's got any questions and wants to know a bit more about it, let me know and I'll put that in the description box below. So uh, for me and my, as I call her, my baby Chanel, um, it's goodbye. <laughs>